Hey guys, Craig Hoyt from Mongoose, and um, we're up here in Deer Valley, Utah, and I want to talk about the new Tiakali. Basically, what we did with the Tiakali is we upped the suspension travel to 150 millimeters of travel while keeping the weight the same as last year's Tiakali. And uh, what we did is we were able to stiffen up the rear end, new forged yoke. So we got the rear end, it's lighter and it's stiffer this year, resulting in a better, better pedaling more responsive and faster bicycle. So stiffer, faster, and lighter. Top tube, new shape top tube, more standover, and uh, it's got a nice shape to it. It's got a hydroform shape to it, as well as we, we lengthened this. By lengthening the top tube, we're able to adjust the seat tube angle so it's a better seated position when climbing. We're able to run a shorter stem also. Shorter stem, in an aggressive cockpit allows you to just have a bike that is, is quicker steering and a little bit stiffer and faster. We also went to a tapered head tube. What we were able to do with this is have the tubes wrap around so it's again it's a, a stiffer frame while not adding a lot of weight and we're able to run a tapered steer too so we got a stiff front end. Bikes designed to run either 150 or 160 millimeter travel fork this, this is the Super and it comes with 150 millimeters of travel in the front resulting in a 68 degree head tube angle. So you got the stability, you got good pedal efficiency with the rear end and just a great handling all mountain trail bike. And uh, we're running a dropper seat post on here so you can get low center of gravity and kind of rip through corners when it gets steep. It builds confidence and uh, we're really happy. You know the Tia Kali line is, is a solid trail bike. You can pedals uphill great, comes down fast, and uh, we're super happy. And this is the 2011 Tia Kali Super. Craig Hoy from Mongoose again, and uh, we're still up here in beautiful Deer Valley, Utah, and I wanted to talk about the new Salvo. This is Mongoose's, the Mongoose Salvo Elite, and what this bike is doing is this is taking the place of our highly successful Otero bike that we've had in the line for a few years. And uh, we wanted to come out with a new frame platform for this and what we did is we took the old design and went to a floating suspension system. What that does is that takes a lot of the forces and the abuse at the front of the triangle of the bike takes. So we're able to make the front triangle of the bike a little bit lighter and we're able to put a, a water bottle mount in here. This one doesn't have it, it is in early production so we will have water bottle mounts in here. But the floating, dry, the floating suspension system allows us to use a, uh, a real light and low leverage ratio so we're able to have easy setup for the shocks, longer shock life and better seal life on the shocks. So you're running less pressure in this shock so it's a, it's a lot easier to set up and it's going to last a lot longer and the rear end is going to feel very plush and bottomless while still pedaling well. Another feature of the, the Salvo is we have travel. This bike goes from 95 millimeters of travel to flip the quick release lever slide it down and then it's in the 95 millimeters. What this does, we'll let this truck go by, what this does is it, is it stiffens up the rear end a little bit, it makes it a little bit more progressive while giving it a little bit more platform feel and it limits the travel to 95 millimeters. So it's a little bit snappier out of corners and you get a little bit more pedaling efficiency for climbing. So if you get a cross country ride or a cross country race, you can run it in 95 mil, you get a little bit more uh, pedal efficiency or you can slide it up to the 120 and what that does is that changes the the suspension into a plusher feeling suspension and gives you a little bit more travel but it's still real snappy off the pedals and, and pedals real run it anywhere in between to where you want it. Further on down the scale to towards the less travel a little bit more progression you're getting out of the, the design slide it up a little bit more plush and solid design for years so we know it works and we just kind of refined it. Another cool thing we're doing is we're calling it the Johnny Six Pack. These bikes come with a plastic cap over the bearings as a dust seal and it's a mongoose logo. But what you can do is you can pop that off and you can put any favorite beverages cap on there. And uh, we got a squatter's beer cap on there right now. And you can see they're, they're solid on there, they don't fall off. And uh, just a little customization of the, the bike to make it a little bit more yours. And uh, these bikes are fun. They, uh, they look like a million bucks, they ride like a million bucks, but they're not going to cost a million bucks. This bike comes in at about $1,300, and uh, you got a floating drivetrain, you got a good 
uh, spec group on here and a solid performing bike. So uh, get out there, ride your bike, and as always, if you ever need anything, you see me on MTBR, MTB Skippy, and uh, give me a call. Ciao.